We are going to need to determine the speed of waves, and you'll remember that speed is equal to distance divided by time. There's really, that's as old as the hills, you did it as early as primary school. But we can now just write a little triangle with it where the distance is at the top. It's a bit inconvenient because distance has the abbreviation S and speed has the abbreviation V. But I really, at this point, I'm not going to get upset if you write the word distance at the top and then it's V and T. So if you get asked for the um, time, you would say block out time, it's distance over speed. If I get asked for the speed, it's distance over time. If I get asked for the distance, it's velocity or speed times time. With waves, the other equation that you might have to use is speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. So V equals lam lambda F or F lambda. And that triangle helps us to derive that if we want the frequency, we left with the speed over the wavelength. If we want the wavelength, we left with the speed over the frequency. So if we have waves of a frequency of 2 hertz and they are generated along a spring, the wavelength of the wave is 0, 0,4 meters. What is the speed of that wave? Well, you have got V is equal to lambda F and lambda is 0, 0,4. It must be in meters and the frequency must be in hertz and you land up with 0, 0,8 meters per second. What is the wavelength if the frequency is increased to 6 hertz but the speed stays the same? Well I've got the speed, I've just worked it out, and I'm now looking for the wavelength. Wavelength is equal to speed divided by frequency 0, 0,8 divided by 6. And if you had to get the frequency was decreased to 0, 0,5 hertz, what is period? Period is equal to 1 over frequency, and that is going to be 0, 0,5, sorry, 1 over 0, 0,5, and that is equal to 2 seconds. We'll get this number on the next slide. It was 0, 0,8 divided by 6, and it's 0, 0,13 meters. So those are just the working out. You can sit there and you can play, there's uh, the apps where you can put the frequency and the wavelength and the velocity in. It doesn't really help you that much with what you're going to do in exams though. But the fact of the matter is if you keep the speed the same, as you increase wavelength you decrease frequency and vice versa. Let's take a look at this. We've been given a picture now of a transverse wave. And they tell us that the wave, there are one and a half, one wave is a whole vibration, not a little peak or a little trough. You need a peak and a trough in order to make a wave. So this is one and a half waves. And they say to us that the period of this wave is one fifth of a second. What's the amplitude of the wave? Well, I've got meters over here. This is a two meter amplitude wave. And what is the speed of this wave? Well, V is equal to lambda times f. But I have got period is equal to one fifth, so frequency is equal to one over period, which is equal to one over one over five, and my frequency turns out to be five hertz. My wavelength of one wave is equal to four meters, so it's four times five, which is going to be 20 meters per second. What is the amplitude of this wave over here? It's from the rest position. The fact that I stuck the rest position in the wrong place is immaterial. You need to find the actual rest position of the wave. And once again, you're going to land up with 2 meters. Watch whether it says centimeters or decimeters on the axis over there. What is the amplitude? That's the only question I think that they ask on that one, yeah. Write down the wave equation in symbol form. It's V is equal to lambda F or F lambda. That's called the wave equation. In what unit, what unit is each quantity expressed? The speed must be in meters per second, frequency in hertz, and wavelength in meters. A water tank waves have, sorry, water waves in a tank have a wavelength of 60 millimeters. I need to convert that into meters by dividing by a thousand. Good thing we just revised all of our units. They pass a given point at a rate of five waves per second. Number of vibrations per second frequency is five hertz. What is the speed of that wave? V equals lambda f. I take the wavelength, I multiply it by the frequency, and I get my answer. 
what was the period of that wave 1 over the frequency, which is 0, 2 seconds. The wavelength of an ocean wave is 10 meters. If the crest passes every 2 seconds, what is the speed of the wave? A crest passes every 2 seconds. How long does one wave? A crest is telling me that I am, and it's passing. So we've got a crest and it goes past, and then the next crest comes after 2 seconds. So that's one wave is going to be 2 seconds. Um, so that's the period of the wave. I can work out the frequency. It's 1 over the period. 1 over 2, 0, 0,5 hertz. The wavelength is given to me in meters conveniently. So V is equal to lambda F, 0, 0,5 times 10. 0, 0,5 times 10. And I get 5 meters per second. The period of a transverse wave is 0, 0,1 seconds. I've been given the period. I can work out the frequency. 1 over period is 1 over 0, 0,1. It's 10 hertz. The speed of the wave is given to me in meters per second. Good news. What is its wavelength? I rearrange the wave equation. Wavelength is speed over frequency. Notice the speed is abbreviated with a V here. Hey? So you're going to go forward, divide it by 10, and you get 0, 0,4 meters. Calculate the frequency of a wave with a speed of 14,4 kilometers per hour and a wavelength of 2 kilometers. What is the period of this wave? Well, <clears throat> the first thing that I need to do is I had to, oh, I had to calculate the frequency. So the frequency is going to either be 0.72 of an hour, but actually that is not quite the same thing. So we're going to convert this 14, because that's not hertz. Hertz is per second. So I need to somehow get into hertz. So I'm going to take 14,4 times it by 1,000, 14, what does it work out to? 14,400 meters over 3,600 seconds. I get 4 meters per second. And therefore, what is the frequency of the wave? I've got a wavelength over here of 2,000 meters. Frequency is speed over wavelength. And I land up with 0, 0,02 hertz. What is the period? Period is 1 over frequency, 1 over 0, 0,02, so it's 500 seconds. If the wave passes into deeper water, what happens to frequency, wavelength, and speed? Now, when you generated the waves in your little wave box, you can't change the frequency. Once you had hit the ruler, you had hit the ruler. If you were hitting the ruler two times per second, so the frequency is like the birth of the wave. It's the start of the wave. I can't change it once the wave is already there. So it remains the same. If I go into deep water, though, I am going to speed up that wave. It's going to go faster because it doesn't have so much resistance underneath it. So it will go faster. And then what happens? V equals lambda F. I've decided that that doesn't change. I have decided that my speed is going to get faster. That means my wavelength must go up as well in order to keep this equality sign in place. And that is a longer wavelength. Calculate the speed of the wave with a wavelength of 10 centimeters and a period of 0, 0,2 seconds. So V is equal to um speed over sorry distance over time i have to change that 10 centimeters and therefore i get 0, 0,1 meters and i divide that by 0, 0,2 seconds and i get 0, 0,5 meters per second how long will it take for five of these waves to pass a certain point i have got the period that's for one wave. Time for one wave. I need five times that number of waves in order to get one second. If the distance from A to B is 22 meters, let us think that through for a second. It is one wave, two waves, three waves, three waves, four waves, Five waves and a half. So this is five and a half waves is 22 meters. I would like to know the wavelength. I'd like to know one wave. So what did I do with five and a half in order to make it one? I divided by five and a half. So I take 22 and I divided by five and a half and I get four meters. The time taken for the wave to travel from A to B is 11 seconds. 
So five and a half waves take 11 seconds. What is the period of the wave? Remember what period is? Time for one wave. So I need to make sure that I divide through by five and a half. I divide by five and a half on 11 seconds and I get two seconds. What is the frequency? Frequency is one over two, which is 0 0.5 hertz. Or I could have said five and a half waves in 11 seconds. Frequency is defined as the number of vibrations per one second. Remember, period is one wave, whilst frequency is one second. And you're going to then land up with 0, 0,5, because I have to divide by 11 to get to 1. Divide by 11, and I've got half a wave in a second frequency, 0, 0,5 hertz. Calculate the speed of the wave. V is equal to lambda f. I've got the wavelength. I've got the frequency. I can work out the speed. 4 times 0, 0,5.